The reason I swim in the mornings, most of the time be in the mornings, is number one is fitness. Two, I just love the sea so much. I live and by the sea. Seems the word a ch churlish not to. And coming down early in the mornings when it's quiet and lovely sunrise, such a such a lovely spectacle. And uh, good for the mind, good for the body. It's like if I don't go in, I always regret it. So it's always good to come down and it forces you to jump in and drive away thinking. I'm really happy I went for a swim. I seen Steve one morning down by the steps taking photos of the sunrise and he said, you know, if you, if you, if you like, I'm doing a project on um, the early morning swimmers and stuff, so if you want after you swim, when you come out of the water, would you mind me taking photographs of you and, and your friends? I said, no, not at all, you know, really nice. So he did and he's been doing it all summer and um, to build up his project. So for a sense of place, what was it specifically that drew you to the sea swimmers? Yeah, um, when the project started, um, I went straight into my comfort zone, which was landscape photography. After the first mentoring session, I created a bit of work. And when I looked at it, it didn't inspire me. And I thought, you know, it's not going to inspire anybody else because it's just, you know, it's a generic shot that anyone could have taken. Um, after the second mentoring session, I wanted to really kind of um, push myself um, both technically and outside of my comfort zone. Um, I've always had a huge admiration for the people that wake up in the morning, get out of a nice warm bed, and the first thing they do is get, get themselves in the ocean. I've also noticed when they come out of the ocean, they've just got this energetic glow around them. And I wanted to see if through this project, I could, I could capture that energy surrounding them as they step out of the water. You know, the, the project gave me a perfect reason to, 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 to push myself outside of my comfort zone and, and do something I hadn't done before. I think from a uh, challenging perspective, just you know, putting a panel together, I've never done anything like that. So you know, getting the, the colours and the consistency across the panel is something that I'm, I'm working through and obviously you helped me with some tips and advice around that. For the third billboard in the series, it's really good to see a really effective use of the collaging and you were in particular drawn to architecture. What interests you about buildings? I've always been interested in architectural photography and making abstract and minimalist images from architecture. And Sidmouth is such a wonderful place with lots of lovely old buildings with interesting details. And it was the workshops we did on a sense of place that really brought those two interests together and enabled me to produce the collage behind us. It's been really great having my images on the billboard. Uh, the billboard is so huge and it's just really nice to know that every day maybe hundreds or thousands of people are seeing my artwork. That's been a really re rewarding aspect of this project. So this is the first collaboration between Sidmouth School of Art and Sidmouth Photographic Club. How have you found it beneficial? It's been beneficial on so many different levels. Um, we've all of us who have been involved have learnt a great deal from your mentorship and uh, we've taken a, a lot away uh, in terms of um, particularly the eye-opening uh, combination of uh, the fine art side of things and the uh, photographic, which I think really pushed us out of our comfort zones. And I think for, for me that was one of the uh, most inspiring uh, aspects of it. Um, I think we've now got a new medium to show our photographs, which is really exciting. And uh, um, finally, I hope that as a result of the great networking that's come out of this and, and the connections that have been made, that there will be a lot of potential in the future to do more uh, with the Sidma School of Art. Uh, and we all look forward to that enormously. One of the great things about having you involved Robert is that you're a professional photographer and have a lot of experience of working making images in a professional environment and also having um, an academic dialogue with uh, with students in a, in an art school setting and I think that the photographic club have really benefited from that dialogue and that interaction with you it's been wonderful to work with the, the Photographic Club and Sidma School of Art. In terms of the, the benefit to the Photographic Club, I really got them to think about pictures in terms of a series of Im images 
um, in, in relation to creating a project rather than taking single images. So in terms of the sense of place, it's really thinking about what Sidmouth means to them, you know, because sense of place is so specific to the individual. The beach shelter in Sidmouth is quite a popular location for tourists. I found it interesting that you decided to photograph people looking out to sea. What was it that made you make that decision? As you said, uh, it's the simplest ideas that work. You get such a, a different variety of people in the, in the shelters. Um, and every time I walked past, I would see um, a different person. They would be doing something like eating fish and chips or just sitting chatting to their friends or there was a family there that um, hadn't seen each other for a while and I just thought that was such a special place. Education has always been integral to my practice. I set up a group for young photographers and I now lecture in photography at Plymouth University. I feel it's really important to facilitate learning and it was wonderful to have this opportunity to work with the Sidmouth Photographic Club and to help nurture their photography. Like Sarah, you also chose the beach shelter as a location. I found it really fascinating that you've created this collage looking out to sea. Why did you decide to do that? So what I wanted to do was represent the sort of amalgamation, I suppose, of lots of individual memories and individual experiences that form your sense of place as a whole. So we've got one large image um, that is made up of lots of small images and that's where that representation comes from. So yeah, it's that kind of sense of memory and constructing a sense of place that I wanted to convey.